we have liftoff. The Artemis I 1 rocket back to the moon and is heading to the moon. You can hear the excitement there for its first unmanned mission. NASA had to plug a leak and an Ethernet issue led to a flashbacks of prior postponements, but at 1.47 a.m. it was all systems go. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. And lift off this is NASA's first moon mission in 50 years. To infinity and beyond. ABC's Rena Roy is live at Kennedy Space Center in Florida for more on the successful launch overnight. And Rena, I would imagine it's just so thrilling to be there and see it in person. Oh yeah, absolutely. Matt and Tam, good morning to you both. It was absolutely incredible to have a front row seat to history. And we didn't just see it, we heard it and we definitely, definitely felt it. 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust lifting off right from that launch pad there behind us. Three, two, one. A blast off for the ages. And lift off of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. NASA going back to the moon for the first time in five decades. Really just surreal to be getting a front row seat to history. Launching the most powerful rocket in the world into space early this morning, kicking off its high stakes Artemis One mission. There were a few bumps in the road before liftoff, including a small hydrogen leak, a team of experts rushing in to fix the problem. This is the red crew that is specifically tasked to uh, go out and tighten some bolts on the core stage hydrogen replenish valve. NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, will send the Orion space capsule 62 miles above the moon's surface, then into orbit around the moon before splashing down on the coast of San Diego early next month. This is a test flight with test dummies, but if this succeeds, astronauts could do the same in two years. We're going back to the moon to learn, to live, to work, to create, to invent, so we can take humans. The ultimate goal of this mission, establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the end of the decade. It's really gonna be a stretch to get the new technologies, the new propulsions, the ability to keep humans alive in a deep, vacuum of space. This successful launch comes after two scrubbed attempts, engine sensor issues and hydrogen leaks causing the delays. The SLS spaceship even riding out Hurricane Nicole last week on its launch pad, but only sustaining some minor damage according to NASA. And right now it appears that everything is working. It's going as planned. The rocket, uh, it is well on its way to the moon. It will be several days until it gets there, but already this mission is clearly one for the books. Matt. All right, all good news. Rena Roy for us live in Florida. Thanks, Rena.